Hey, and welcome to this video about isolating objects in Maya. As a 3D artist, you know how overwhelming it can be to work on large or complex scenes. That's why isolating objects can be a game changer. It allows you to focus on specific parts of your model without getting bogged down by the rest of the geometry. This not only makes it easier to focus on your task, but it can also improve viewport performance by reducing the amount of geometry needing to be rendered. So let's go over the two main isolation methods in Maya. But just before we start that, I would just like to thank those of you watching who have joined the Patreon. I think a couple more have joined since the last video and your support really does mean the world to me. So let's go ahead and crack on. First, we have the show hide feature, which allows us to hide specific objects in the scene, making it easy to focus on the objects which are still visible. To hide an object, go ahead and press Ctrl plus H to show the object again, select it in the outliner and press Shift H. Use Ctrl Shift plus H to show all, which can actually be quite a handy one to remember if you have a lot of things hidden. But I guess I should add that I found just using H on its own works as well. And notice that with just H, we're not losing our selection like we did with Control H. So just choose whichever you prefer, but I usually use just H. Up next, we have the isolate select feature, which allows us to select an object and then hide all the other objects in the scene. The shortcut for isolate selection is Control plus one. Notice down in the bottom, it visually indicates that you're in isolation mode and to exit this once you're ready, just go ahead and hit control plus one again and everything should load back into the viewport. So there you have it, the benefits and some different ways to isolate objects in Maya. Check out the description for more tips and tricks by joining the growing community on the Discord server. And also I am now including a link tree in the description. So why not follow me on my other socials to follow along with the other bits and bobs I get up to. With that, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, follow me on my socials, and I'll see you in the next video.